All right, this question comes up all the time. Do I need the high torque? This is the last gen Milwaukee brushless high torque. Uh, this has a new X, uh, XC 6.0 battery. As you can see, it is fully charged. Or can I get by with a mid torque? This is the latest generation friction ring mid torque, also from Milwaukee. Uh, this one has a five amp hour XC 5.0. I do not want to hear any crap about not using impact sockets. I don't care. Um, so this is a 70s F250 that has sat in various fields for more than a decade. And you can see some of these lugs are okay and some are rusted on. So I'm going to start using the mid torque to take them off. And I will cut and paste if we get to some that the mid torque won't do. You see these are like completely rusted on. It's like pretty much worst case scenario. I don't think the average homeowner like probably rested on bug nuts. It's the worst you'll experience if you're not working on equipment or heavy trucks. All right. All right, so our gun is in setting three. So if the mid torque does that, you may want to know what the high torque looks like. This is it on setting three. So it's not even really any faster. Maybe a little faster, but it is a lot heavier. And if we go back to our back wheel here that they're kind of pulling out slow. This one's not going to slow down at all. So if you were doing this for a living and you wanted to zip out all eight of these in no time, the high torque might be the way to go. But if you're doing it all day, every day, you might want the mid torque because it's a lot lighter. reason the uh, lug nuts are ejecting from the socket a lot better when I use the high torque instead of the mid torque. Maybe just because it does vibrate more. All right let's do one more rear wheel since they were a little more stuck. The high torque setting three. These seem like they're a little less stuck on than the other. Which one do you need for your everyday job? 